Hey guys, it's DC here, and today we've got another episode of the CyberSec News. So we're going to head straight on over to cybersecguidance.com forward slash blog, where I write all of these news stories each week um, to then present to you guys on YouTube. So today's news stories are the Moss Adams breach explained. The US Coast Guard is hit by Ryuk ransomware and Fin7 hackers have released a new malware tool. Kicking straight off into the first article, the accounting, consulting and wealth management firm Moss Adams has recently posted a cybersecurity incident notice outlining that an employee email account that was accessed by an unauthorized person was compromised. In the statement which appeared on the California Attorney General's data breach website, Moss Adams stated that on October the 10th, 2019, uh, a staffer's email account was accessed by an unknown third party. Good. Some of the information contained in the breached account included names and social security numbers of an undisclosed number of customers or employees. Only information contained in the email account was exposed. The malicious actor did not obtain access to the company's general computer network. So that's at least some silver lining uh, in a shit note. But anyway, the company is in the process of notifying those who were affected and has started an internal investigation and is offering a year of free account monitoring. <laughs> Moss Adams has not yet responded to an SC Media request for additional information, which is where I got the um, article from. So, the long and short of it is that Moss Adams was hacked. They, uh, someone got into one of their email addresses, probably through phishing, and um, has then used that to do some dodgy stuff and basically get access to other people's data. Um, probably a little bit of social engineering in there as well which has then caused this breach. It's not a massive thing, it's it's just, it made it to the news because Moss Adams is a pretty large company. Um, it's one of the you know larger accounting firms. So um, yeah, it's, it's newsworthy. All right, on to the next article. The US Coast Guard or USCG has published a safety alert saying that the Ryuk ransomware has attacked and taken down their entire corporate IT network for the maritime transportation security act facility the incident is still currently being investigated and the uscg says that phishing emails are most likely the entry point for this particular attack they have said here once the embedded malicious link in the email was clicked by an employee the ransomware allowed for a threat actor to access significant enterprise information technology network files and encrypt them preventing the facilities access to files but so just the same way that any other ransomware works Ryuk is the latest version of uh, ransomware I guess and um, yeah it's locked everyone's files even though the maritime safety information bulletin or MSIB doesn't mention the type of facility or its name it's safe to assume that it must be a port scene that the ransomware managed to cargo transfer industrial control systems yeah you put one and one together and you get two um, that's what sort of went down here then I'd say it's pretty obvious that that's what got hacked but anyway the virus further burrowed into the industrial control systems that monitor and control cargo transfer and encrypted files critical to process operations uh, something added in there by the USCG the systems encrypted by Ryuk ransomware directly impacted the facility's entire corporate IT network, which is terrible, beyond the footprint of the facility, even worse. And physical access and camera control system. Wow, okay. And it also led to a loss of critical process control monitoring system. Basically what they're saying is they lost complete control of their corporate IT environment, which is very, very bad. Um, these people had access apparently to the, the cameras and control systems and all sorts of stuff. They probably muddled around a little bit with the um, cargo transport stuff as well, which is um, 
Yeah, that's a pretty big news story. I'm surprised uh, this didn't sort of make it into a global news, but hopefully uh, I can change that. So that article was from a threatpost.com. If you want to have a look at that, jump on my website, click on the link and take you straight to that article. There's some more information. The next story is malware researchers have uncovered a new tool used by the financially motivated cyber criminal group known as Bin7 load pressure builds of the car bank back door. Bin dubbed the bio load, the malware loader has a load detection rate and shares its similarities with Bootsrite, another loader recently identified to be part of Fin7's arsenal. These guys are pretty serious just by the way. If you ever look up Fin7, they've got some really, um, I think it's interesting anyway, uh, hacks and I guess exploits that they've released as far as their own inbuilt or house-built malware. Um, they're obviously very cluey people and uh, yeah, it's a good story this one so let's continue on Fortinet's end silo endpoint security platform blocked malicious payloads in legitimate windows processes it's nice more precisely it detected a malicious dll in face pod uninstaller.exe that exists on clean os installation starting windows 10 18 3 fairly recent they've said here Fortinet have said here what makes this executable even more attractive in the eyes of an attacker is the fact that it started from a built-in scheduled task named FOD cleanup task, thereby minimizing the footprint on the machine and reducing the chances of detection further. That's pretty good. It's a nice back door here where they're going to um, sort of make their way straight in if they can jump on the back of them, I guess, without being detected. Uh, the malware identified by the researchers shows that Fin7 is actively developing tools to drop their back doors, exactly like I just said. While BioLoad was used to load CarBank on an infected host, more recent Bootsrite loader was used uh, to also deliver RDF Sniffer, a remote access tool to hijack instances of the NCR Aloha Command Center client application interact with systems uh, via legitimate two-factor authentication sessions so it's it's pretty tricky the way this has been written and I assume they're just going to use it as a backdoor into a system um, that's going to go almost completely undetected um, but you never know They'll, I'm sure some developments will happen where it does eventually get detected um, but as I said earlier have a look at Fin7 they're a very interesting group and um, yeah they do some pretty Yes, cool stuff. Um, they also do a lot of very illegal stuff. So <laughs> have a look at their stuff. It's very interesting. Anyway, that's all the news we have for this week. As always, head on over to cybersecguidance.com forward slash blog. You can read other news stories that I have posted in here before. As always, if you liked this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Comment if you have any questions in regard to these articles or anything in general really and uh, yeah I'll get back to you as soon as I can catch you on the next one see ya